Hello, I welcome you to this first block of knowledge where already know you will find out something useful. Let's start off with the main question. What are fabric paints and why don't they wash off? Fabric paints are acrylic paints. But then you might ask, why do we need to know about this special kind if there is already is a best variety of regular acrylics? The answer is because you want to uh, get a different result on your, of your art, on textile, uh, which you won't be able to achieve by using a normal acrylic paint. Fine art acrylics are meant to be applied on flat surfaces, um, sometimes porous, but they were not intended to withstand wear and tear and especially laundry. If not at once, then after a couple of washings, the design is most likely to crack, um, peel off or fade out. Now to avoid such mishaps and support all the fabric enthusiasts, some brands took acrylic paints to the next level by somewhat changing its chemical formula. They added a special type of acrylic dispersion which provides adhering and flexible characteristics to the paint. As a result, we now have a special type of acrylic paint which absorbs into fabric, binds with its fibers and remains soft and permanent through numerous washes and wearing. Let's look at the label. To identify the bottle of paint which is suitable for fabric, we need to look for the word textile or fabric paint next to the brand name. Most manufacturers also often place a symbol like this drop, telling us that this paint is water-based and can be washed at a certain temperature. Usually it varies from 30 to 60 degrees Celsius. It is also important to know that all textile paints from reliable brands are non-toxic, which is supported by a certification code. Always keep an eye for it on the sticker whenever you are about to try a new brand of paints. Now that you can confidently tell a difference between acrylic and fabric paints, let's look under the lid and see how different can be the te texture of fabric paints and how to pick the right type for your project.